Hi guys, this is Esther Park. So I got a bunch of questions on how I created and saved these personalized digital feedback stickers and I wanted to walk you through the steps really quickly. First, you're going to open up Google Slides. I will create a circle that looks like this with a border and a color along with some letters inside over here to make a basic sticker template. Personally, I use Canva um, just because I love their design and their cute fonts from the Canva site, but you can easily create your own template using Google Slides. If you want a copy of my free template, sticker template, I added the link below. Once you have the basic template ready, you are going to use unscreen.com to crop your own video and drag and drop or insert the video into your sticker template. If you don't know how to do that, if, if you want to learn how to do this step, refer back to my previous tutorial titled a hashtag be the emoji. So I'm going to find the GIF file by going to insert image upload from computer and find your file. I think it's this one. There you go. Now you want to crop it, so double click. Now I want to crop it in a circular shape. Crop the image, drag it to the center of your sticker. There you go. Now notice that you want these layers to be in the correct order. I want my letters to be on the top myself in the next layer and other images in the back. Now you can play around with these layers and orders by adjusting um, the order of the images. So you can right click, order, send backward. Or in your keyboard, you can press control arrow up or arrow down. Also, one extra optional step that I would suggest is to add a shadow to give your sticker a little bit of a flare to it. So click the circle, right click it, right click, and go to format options and click drop shadow. And you can change the color of the shadow. I'm going to change it to this color. Once your sticker is complete, now you will need to save these as GIF files and crop it so that it looks like a sticker, a digital sticker. I usually use Screencastify Chrome extension to screen record my slides, but you can use any screen recording platform to record your slides presentation and convert it into a GIF file. So I have Chrome extension, Screencastify Chrome extension here. I'm going to hit record. Record. And I'm going to hit present. So I'm going to screen record maybe two to three seconds like this and stop it. So a screen Cassify will populate a new tab um, with, with my screen record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this screen record 
to two seconds from 15 to 17 or shorter than that and click save trim and trim it. All right, and uh, Screencastify gives you an option to download your trimmed video into an animated GIF. So you're going to export animated GIF, export it, download. I use a website called Lunapic for this. You can also um, use unscreen.com to remove the background, but I found cropping it with this site gave me a cleaner uh, look on my sticker. So you're going to click upload, choose file, to insert the file, open it, and then you're going to crop into a circle. Drag it so that it fits your sticker and then click crop image. There you go. So my GIF sticker is cropped. Click save. Go back to the slides and you can simply drag and drop your GIF sticker. So one last step for easy access. You can keep these digital stickers in Google Keep. So right click on your digital sticker, click save to keep. So once you save these into your Google Keep, you can easily drag and drop these to student work for a quick feedback or as an incentive.